Hey guys, what's up? It's Autobot Mike 18 here with some Transformers 4 movie news. Guys, I have to say, I am sorry. I have not done a Transformers 4 movie news update in a very long time. To everyone that's following me on YouTube for my Transformers 4 movie news, I do apologize. Um, I have not done an update on uh, tr any Transformers 4 news in, I don't know, maybe a few weeks? Maybe, was it a month or two? I don't know. Uh, I mean, we have been getting some bits, new bits of information. I guess I just haven't been making a video about it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, this is, I, I really do apologize for that. But um, we did get some big news, uh, I think, a couple weeks ago uh, about a um, another actor, actress that has joined the movie. Um, so definitely, uh, this is what, uh, I'm going to be talking about in this video. This new actress who has been, uh, signed on for Transformers 4, playing the female lead. Um, so, uh, that's the, the news update in this video, guys. I, I might make another news update video talking about a few other, uh, things that I, I missed and never, never talked about in a video. So, um, this video is just going to be this one, this one news update about this, uh, this, uh, actress who's been confirmed. Uh, for Transformers 4, and uh, this is pretty big news because this is our main female lead, and we finally, we finally, she's finally, she finally has been revealed. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, all right, guys. Um, so I am on, of course, TFW 2005. Um, you guys know th this website. I love it. It's the only website I, I really use for Transformers 4 news. Uh, and here it is. Here is the actress who has been confirmed for Transformers 4, and this is what I was afraid of. It says on this article, Nicola Peltz cast as Transformers 4 female lead. Oh, boy. Um, okay. Now, you guys know me. I think I've mentioned this one time before. <sighs> Nicola Peltz, I was never a huge fan of her. You guys want to know why I was never a huge fan of her? Because she was in The Last Airbender. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. And her acting was atrocious in that movie. Oh, boy. Um, Alright, guys. You know, before I start talking about Nicola Peltz, let me read the article um, really quickly. It's very, it's very brief. So, you know, let me read this real quick. It says... A second tweet from the official Michael Bay Twitter account has revealed that the lead actress of Transformers 4 has been cast... Acting alongside Mark Wahlberg and Jack Rayner will be Nicola Peltz, whose previous credits include the live-action movie The Last Airbender, as I said. While plot details so far have been kept under wraps, we assume this means Nicola will be playing the high school girl referenced in previous casting calls. Yes, that has been true. Um, I'm pretty sure she's going to be the high school girl. She is young enough to play a high school girl. Um, so that makes sense. Anyway... Uh, as it said in the article, Nicola Peltz was in The Last Airbender. Um, I guess this is pretty... The, the, the only thing that I like about this, this news is that Nicola Peltz is pretty attractive. That's something. Okay, moving on. Um, as it said in this article, The Last Airbender. She was in The Last Airbender. You guys know me. Uh, I'm a big Avatar fan. Um, I have always been a big fan of the show, and when I saw The Last Airbender, I thought it was okay, you know, and I've watched it over and over again, and I said, you know what, this movie really isn't that good at all. I realized how different it was from the show, and that it does bother me a little bit now. I do realize it was a bad movie. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I hate it as much as everyone else does, but it's still, it's still not a great movie by any means, really. Um... And by far, one of the worst parts of that movie was the acting. The acting was, was atrocious. The Last Airbender probably had to have the worst acting I've ever seen in a film. I am not even lying. I mean, the acting was just... It bothered me. That Well, now it bothers me. Every single time when I see The Last Airbender on TV or whatever, um, or when someone's watching it and I see it, the acting really is, is pretty bad. Um, and uh, Nicola Peltz played Katara in The Last Airbender, and her acting was awful. She was the worst actor in that entire movie. She, she was horrendous in the movie. I mean, her acting was so bad, it was laughable. Her acting was... I was laughing when she was talking in the movie. It was so bad. And, uh... 
whenever when I heard that there was a room there was a rumor about a few females that had been considered for the, the the female lead in Transformers 4 I heard Nicole Peltz was one of them I freaked out because I said no do not pick her she's going to ruin Transformers 4 and I heard that I don't know when I heard it maybe back in February maybe March I forget when I heard that um and uh of course she was cast in Transformers 4 now I, I am really not too happy about this um, she better be good in this movie. However, there is a silver lining. I am watching the new show on A&E, Bates Motel, and Nicola Peltz is in that show. If you guys had seen my Bates Motel episode one review, I talked about Nicola Peltz in that ep in that review, and, um, I was saying about how bad her acting was in The Last Airbender, and then I was talking about her acting in Bates Motel. And I, I have I have to admit it, guys. Her acting is actually pretty good in Bates Motel. So in a way, this news is good news. Maybe she is a good actress now. Uh, maybe she was just horrible in The Last Airbender. In Bates Motel, she plays the, the love interest of, of Norman Bates. And the show's pretty good. I'm a big fan of the show and uh, so far. And uh, it's like four episodes in as of right now. And she's pretty good in the show. I'm not going to lie. Her acting has definitely improved over The Last Airbender. So I'm hoping that she's going to be good in Transformers 4. If not, I am going to be really upset. If her acting is like it was in The Last Airbender and Transformers 4, I am going to be really mad at Michael Bay. I'm going to be really mad at anyone who works on Transformers 4 because I do not want anything to be wrong with this movie, really. I know it's going to have flaws, but I don't want the acting, of, of course. I don't want the acting to be messed up. You have Mark Wahlberg in this movie and this Jack Rayner kid. And if Nicola Peltz messes up the movie with her acting, I'm going to be really upset. But I have some faith in her because she wa she is really good in Bates Motel. I will give her that. Um, and um, I'm sorry. I, I was kind of ranting. I, I mean, I, I am a little upset about this. I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know... Uh, I don't know. I just, I want her acting to be good. Uh, I, I'm not looking for an Oscar-worthy performance here. That obviously will not happen, but I want a good performance from her. Um, she is very attractive, and I think she has skills, but she was bad in The Last Airbender, and I don't think it was all her fault in The Last Airbender. It was probably M. Night Shyamalan's direction. That's what I'm starting to think. It's probably just M. Night Shyamalan. Um, and After Earth better not suck, by the way. If it does, I'm going to be pissed. Um, anyway... Uh, it was probably his direction. That's probably why her acting was awful, but uh, because she's good in Bates Motel. Um, so I don't know. Maybe she took more acting lessons. I don't know. But um, guys, what do you think about this? Uh, I'm really, in a way, I'm happy because she is good in Bates Motel. In a way, I'm not because I keep thinking about her in The Last Airbender and in those scenes where I, I started laughing like crazy when she was talking um, because her acting was so bad. Um, but anyway, guys... I guess this is good news. This is big news. She is the female lead, of course, um, and I think she's gonna. She's obviously gonna be the boyfriend to Jack Rayner's character. I still don't know anything about this uh, about Jack Rayner, but I, I guess I I have faith in him. I mean, Michael Bay did pick him, so maybe he's gonna be good. And Michael Bay Michael Bay picked Nicola Peltz, so I guess she's gonna be good as well. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she will be good in the movie. And, of course, Mark Wahlberg, of course, is the best actor in the movie, in my opinion. I mean, I'm a big Mark Wahlberg fan. So the cast, so far, I guess, is strong, especially with Wahlberg. Um, but uh, Nicola Peltz, this is, I mean, she has been in Last Airbender, and she isn't currently in Bates Motel, the show. So uh, this is pretty big news. So, guys, what do you think about this? I mean, look at this first comment right here. Dear Father in Heaven, did I do something wrong? Um, not a lot of people have been happy with her because she did ruin The Last Airbender in a way with her acting. Um, M. Night Shyamalan ruined the majority of it, but the acting, her acting did not help in any way. Um, so guys, what do you think? I, I'm sorry if I was ranting. I mean, if you haven't seen The Last Airbender and you're watching this video and you're saying, you take it easy, you're being a little hard on this girl, stop watching this, go watch The Last Airbender and then you'll come back and tell me, I agree with you, her acting was awful. I mean, it really was, it really was, um... Anyway, guys, Nicola Peltz is cast in Transformers 4, most likely as the girlfriend to Jack Rayner, and we'll obviously find more details out about the plot and how crucial her role is later on, but this is all we know. She is just going to be in the movie. So we got Mark Wahlberg, Jack Rayner, and Nicola Peltz. That's our main cast. And, uh... Uh, really quickly, Josh Duhamel actually may, might, might make a cameo. I am going to be talking about that in, a, in another video. I'm going to make another news update. So, um, 
Uh, stay tuned for that. But uh, this is the first news update I want to get up on YouTube as soon as possible. Nicola Peltz is in Transformers 4. So, uh, guys, again, what do you think of all of this? Um, I guess this is a good choice. She is good in Bates Motel. Maybe Michael Bay's been watching Bates Motel. Uh, maybe. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm just, please, Nicola, please, I'm begging you, please do not mess up Transformers 4. You can mess up Bates Motel, I guess. Just don't mess up the movie that I am hyping up so much for. Please don't. I'll be really crushed and upset. And, uh, that's all I have to say about this, guys. So, uh, again, guys, let me know in the comments what do you think about Nicola Peltz being in... What do you think about Nicola Peltz being in Transformers 4? Do you think she's going to ruin the movie? Do you think she's going to help the movie? Do you think she's attractive? Do you think she, uh, you know, do you think her and Jack Rayner will go good together? I mean, I don't know anything about Nicola Peltz, guys. Let me know in the comments. And, uh, let me know how she's doing in Bates Motel, because I think she's doing pretty good. Uh, but anyway, guys... Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for my other Transformers 4 updates. Uh, bye, guys.